Have you ever seen those videos telling you how to correct rib flare, i.e. your ribs poking out a little bit? They get millions of views and some make a killing offering services they claim can correct it. But is it really something you need to worry about? First of all, let's look at the evidence. Oh wait, it's a completely fabricated pathology and there are only 11 studies that even mention it. Only one of which suggests that it can cause problems and it's a PRI case study, which by definition has no control group or way to tell whether the correction of said rib flare had any impact whatsoever. Great. So where does this idea come from? I have two theories. One, it's part of what I call the Vitruvia model of healthcare, aka if it different, it bad, which is incredibly outdated. And if you don't believe me, listen to my upcoming podcast, which should come out Sunday, where we discuss a lot of the evidence around it. My second hypothesis is that the proponents of rib flare are conflating an actual medical term, aka pectus excavatum, which is an extreme version of rib flare and the most common chest deformity, affecting about 0.1% of the population. In my opinion, using an extreme case to pathologize normal variations is irresponsible and akin to saying jumping is bad because falling from the World Trade Center is bad or that saunas are bad because a live flame will burn you. The dose makes the poison. This rings especially true for rib flare since even for pectus excavatum, doctors rarely operate on it other than very severe cases where the ribs or sternum compress the heart or lungs as despite multiple studies conducted on the topic, no nefarious health outcomes can be linked to pectus excavatum outside of said extreme cases. Only exception maybe being leaving organs more exposed during CPR or blunt trauma. So it's extremely unlikely that you need to worry about a mild rib flare in your daily life. This is why the most common motive for PE surgery in adults seems to be cosmetic as individuals with pectus excavatum, like those with scoliosis, seem to have worse body image and self-esteem scores probably because ideas such as those in the videos I showed earlier tend to vilify those deviations for no good reason. Moreover, I want to emphasize that there is no credible evidence that we can correct it non-surgically, except vacuum belt therapy in kids whose growth plates aren't fused yet, so like teenagers. So maybe working out your chest muscles and standing slightly differently could make it look visually different if you're insecure about it, but it's most likely not gonna change anything in terms of actual bony alignment or physiological function. So proceed with caution if someone is promising to change your life by addressing your rib flare. I'm the Noble Shafizio. Peace out.